When you hear the word sustainability, you're likely to think of climate change and the environment. And you may even tune out because, well, it's a loud issue and one where many of us aren't even sure where to begin. So we're dispelling the myth that sustainability is only about the environment and giving you real life inspiration from on post to encourage you to make your own good life goals. David, UNPUST is a leader in sustainability in Ireland and internationally, but is sustainability still a key issue for global postal companies? It's very much at the core of it. Postal organisations have actually found themselves, partly by accident, but partly by design, at the heart of sustainability. And I think it's because postal people, it's an old industry, they're in every community around the globe, visiting every house. So it's something that's so embedded that it's a great place for sustainability to be driven from. But also, it's responsible for a lot of emissions because it's a logistics industry. So there's the hard practical realities of if you're going to reduce emissions, you absolutely have to tackle it in postal. There are very few companies with the reach in a community of the post office anywhere in the world. Absolutely, and you know, as I often say, we call to every house in this country every day. But that puts an onus on us. So, you know, that's why when uh, I got an order, a purchase order to buy 800 vehicles or 750 vehicles for, for Dublin diesel vehicles, I said, we can't put 750 diesel vehicles on the street. And so we purchased electric vehicles. And now we became, Dublin became the first city in, in the world with zero emission postal deliveries. And those are the type of things that we can do. But it all comes from that relationship. You're absolutely right, that relationship in communities. That's what drives them. Nicola, thinking about the urgency of climate action, what has a company the size and scale of UNPOS planned to deliver? And what have you achieved so far? We're one of the largest companies in Ireland. We have one of the largest fleets in Ireland. And we have the largest retail network in Ireland. And that means that we are, have a presence in every Irish community. And we really have a responsibility to ensure that we leave a, 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 an environmental footprint that is as small as possible and that we protect the planet for future generations. And so how do we go about doing that? And one of the ways we're doing it is that we're reducing our carbon emissions. And we're really pleased that over this past year, we've reduced our emissions by 12%. And that means that we're, to date, we've reduced our emissions by 35%. So we're really on track to meet those targets. And we've done that through a few different initiatives and some examples being uh, we've changed out all of our lighting uh, so that it's more energy efficient, such as LED options. Um, we've also reduced the heating in all of our buildings to be 19 degrees Celsius. And we've also looked at extending the trial of hydro-treated vegetable oil for use in our larger trucks so that it's now happening in our trucks in Galway and and Cork. Nicola, the Climate Action Plan of 2023 emphasises the importance of climate literacy to help people in their capacity to act. How has UNPUST built this awareness? I think being able to deliver on our ambitions also means being able to demonstrate to everybody that sustainable living is not only possible, but it's also achievable. And I think for us, our employees are the best messengers of that. And that's why we invested in an employee engagement campaign to provide our employees with hints and tips about the actions that they can take to live more sustainably in their own lives, both at work and at home. And we were delighted to be one of the first companies in Ireland to be accredited for running such a programme over the past year. Nicola, you've recently unveiled the No Mow May campaign, encouraging gardeners to keep their mowers in the shed for the month of May and let their lawns flourish. Can you tell me a bit about the campaign? Yeah, we want to protect and restore nature in Ireland. And our pollinators, we want to ensure that they get access to the uh, food and the shelter and uh, everything that they need in order to thrive. And not just wild bees, but also hoverflies and butterflies and other pollinators too. We've partnered with the National Biodiversity Centre to encourage everyone to participate in No Mow May and to protect biodiversity in Ireland for future generations because nature is just so important. So what we're doing is that we're sending a postcard to every household in Ireland to encourage people to participate and give them tips about seeing some of the common native species that they could see in their gardens if they take part. I don't know about you, but today I've learned that collectively, small changes can make a big difference. Living leaves a mark, so together, let's leave one we're proud of.